I'm coming. <laughs> I'm sick today. We had a surprise visitor on his sole paddleboard surfboard with no paddle, paddle down from the bridge. About a mile up with no paddle. Tom Helbig. <laughs> she brought bearing cheese and crackers and other gifts for us. A lot of motivation we got from him, so we're hyped for today to see how much we can get done. We got a lot to do today, so we're up early. I think it's still 8 o'clock, somewhere around that time, so um, we already got the campsite cleaned up, with the hammock down, the tent down, the fire's all set out, so we're planning on getting a lot of mileage covered, because the, the river's looking great from here, a lot of nice flow, and it's been deep through Covington, so that dam up there that they have, might help us sail us through all the rapids with the current so we're hoping to do about 25 miles today so as long as we keep that motivation get started early get on the river we should be able to do it possibly he is either going to end up paddling with us to the next bridge or paddle upstream because it's going to be he was going to join us on our adventure but he ended up forgetting his pump and his paddle for his big saw. So, we're gonna go ahead and. Good job, yes, team. Yes, the cheese and crackers and drinks were great. Good job, team. You're killing it. I love it. I'm impressed. <laughs> We just stick with it. Yeah. It's not easy. It's been rough. But hopefully you get you'll get some openings today. Yep. Yeah. Good luck paddling upstream. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, we did pick the hardest part to go upstream for you. <laughs> yeah, the, the easiest right. spot for us to come down, so. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, we're not gonna lie, this is probably the hardest you're gonna have to go upstream the whole day. Yeah. Well there, it'll be good. All right, we'll be giving you. A be hope, safe, hope, okay? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Bye. Yeah, bye. We're going to need a big breakfast at the Buffalo Chip. Maybe. <laughs> this might. They look like they had a good breakfast. Yeah. Well, let's paddle yes, up and eat breakfast and get on here. <laughs> All right, I love you guys. Bye. Love you too. Yeah, I love you too. Keep tracking. Only thing you can do. Oh yeah. The sun's not even up on the river yet. Are we? Huh. It could be trapped in there. Where's the three liter hydro thingamajiggy? Holy cow, the river is looking phenomenal right now. It is insanely, you know, there's no current through here, but that doesn't really matter. It's deep enough, it's wide, it's great looking, it's solid. We've already seen 
two boats, a kayak, and a little John boat. There's two more than what we've seen in the entire last 30 miles. So definitely seems more possible to go through these waters. We got a lot to do today. You know, we're flowing already pretty good. And um, I'm gonna show a, so you guys can see the water right here. I'm gonna show a little clip of uh, the beginning of our journey. All right, yeah, you could, you can definitely tell a huge difference between the little creek we started in compared to this behemoth of a river now. A lot wider. A lot more, a uh, lot deeper, a lot more uh, navigable. Got some, some bikes running on the side. A lot more life going through this river from Covington down. So if anybody's wondering, I would recommend if you wanted a, a fun paddle with a lot of great looking fishing spots and just a long, long day sort of thing, you know, one nighter, I would recommend Covington to probably the Inglewood Dam would be a good spot to get out. But we're going to end up having to port that, which is uh, our goal is to either do that today or either be very close to it by the end of the day. Figure 25 miles, two and a half miles per hour for 10 hours, two miles per hour for 12 hours should get us there. And then from the dam, we have about an hour and a half, two hour float to their house. And then past their house, we have about three and a half, four more miles to the end of the river, which is the goal to do every bit of this beast. You know, we started solid. Our motivation was lacking yesterday, but we still got decent amount done for what our situation was with uh, walking wise. So I'm excited to see how far we can get today. So I'm gonna get back at it and uh, hopefully I uh, want you guys enjoy some cool videos of some rapids or some other cool spots. Looks like we're coming up on rapids. This might be a dam, I can't tell. It's a dam. I assume we got through there. Beautiful.
This is the left side that we could have went. Tree knocked down right in the middle, so good thing we didn't go that way. Ugh. Man, it looks like a tornado went through here or something. There's a whole lot of trees down everywhere. That's bad. Luckily, it looks like they've been somewhat either cleared from the river or they avoided falling into the river. A lot of trees down on the right and the left. Definitely some high winds went through here. I don't know if this was from our tornado, or tornado last year. Could have been, but these... All these trees have uh, leaves on them still. Still dirt on the roots, pretty good. I doubt it was from last year. I'm trying to think we did have some high winds just a little bit ago, a couple weeks ago, I would say. And I think they said uh, maybe a tornado went through north of us, uh, north of Dayton. Definitely makes it look a whole lot different. Every bit of this river is a different river, I swear. Changes from day after day. Looks a little different than the mile before. That's what's great about it. It's part of venturing, getting to see those sites that not a lot of people get to see. So. Just wanted to get a little clip of all these trees down. It's pretty insane. Definitely right here. <laughs> Big rock in the middle. There you go. Oh yeah. Took the dangerous path. You took the rough way. You took the wrong path. Why did you shoot that? That sounds fun. <laughs> oh. Maybe it'll flow us to West Milton. Oh. But shit. Did I do that? 
Huh. We're pretty close. Got on the knees. I was gonna try to stand up, but the trees were too high. I cleared the spider webs. I'm coming! <laughs> <laughs> SOS. <laughs> Walk it. No, she doesn't want to walk through there. You don't? No, I tripped and fell. It goes about this deep. You lost your feather. No. get her lined up here and push her through.
definitely some excitement. Yep. <laughs> it gets deep right there. Like super deep right here. It had to have been like five foot deep because I tripped over a log. I'm trying to get up here. Yeah, right there. It's super deep. Was this in the back? Yeah, on the back. Some fun times. No, the wipes. The wipes are. They're wet now. No. <laughs> You over here and push you through. Are we sure we're on the still water? If I fall, I fall. That was fun. I surf that. The spider. Woo! Flying. Cruising. There we go.
for lunch break. We got Don, the chef, cooking up some, some uh, rice and chicken something. Blue We're all green, taking a break. We're, we're seven miles from the Inglewood Dam. We've done about 13 miles today already, and it's three o'clock. So, I mean, we got started at, I don't know, what was it, 8.39? So we're doing doing pretty good with speed. We only had to get out once, or, or they had to get out once. I was able to push off. But definitely some a lot different river the last 14 miles. So we're hoping to get to the dam for maybe a little more it just depends how we're feeling and how much sunlight we got left so that's that's what we got to look forward to the rest of today we're closing in on the end of our paddle trip i've uh we went through like a party section of uh there's a canoe livery some um, lots of people there i got a few drinks talked to a whole bunch of people People were calling me out on the sub. It's like they haven't seen this thing ever before. Lots of people thought it was sweet. It's currently about to try to rain right now, so so I'm on six percent battery. So hopefully I can catch the end of our end of our uh, trip right here at the dam. That'd be awesome. So just wanted to get a little update on the last uh, six miles sort of deal. Lots of people, lots of fun. Talked to some people. Had to catch up, and it was great. Now we, now we can paddle in the rain. Oh yeah, this is great. I'm loving this actually. Woo! The rainy water flow. This is this is great. I'm loving this. That's why. This is why we did this. All this excitement. The rain and the freeze and the hot and the leg burns and everything. This has been a great trip. Not too much longer to go. I'm excited. Outside of the dam, my GoPro sadly died before we took an hour porting over the dam. You know, we went over the great mountain of the Inglewood Dam, totally. <laughs> Some, something like that. Or so, might have been our good friend Tom helped us with the truck yeah. and ported us over. It was my honor. I'm so happy for you. Well, we got to spend the night at their home inside of beds with AC, so we're very refreshed. We're hoping that the little eight mile paddle we gotta do is gonna be great.